are back with part seven already. I can't believe I've committed to do seven parts of these lunchtime streams. I'm really impressed with myself. Uh, so what we are doing here now is trying to craft that cinder box. So I'm just going to remind myself really quickly. I normally do this part before I start actually, uh, which I should have done, but I didn't. Cinder box, right, so I need the, oops, wrong button, not surprise. Uh, I need the rodent lard, which is in the forest. Okay, that's from these little traps on the squirrels, I think, isn't it? So we're going to have to kill a squirrel again, which I'm not overly keen about killing the squirrels. Makes me feel bad, but we got to do what we got to do to get this bear his mead. Am I right? I am usually. <laughs> right. So we have these traps in here. Oh, I know one other thing I actually quickly wanted to craft before I start, which is one of these, some of these mending courses because um, I get hit a lot. I need more of these for that. Right, so let's find, not the birds. Why are those cute little adorable squirrels? Because I'm afraid your times are going to be up. Now, I have a squirrel, my own personal squirrel, that actually comes in my garden and he, he or she, is pure white. This squirrel is like an albino squirrel, uh, which I had never seen before. Um, oh, here's one. And yeah, it's pure white. Like I've posted a few pictures of it on my Instagram and stuff um, before, but I'm so sorry. I just need you a lot. I'm so sorry, little squirrel. So now I can make a cinder box, which I need. And then the other thing I needed was some water, right? Collect well water, because now I've got it set as my. Um, main task it's up there in the right hand corner so I can actually see what I'm doing at all times with it so I can make a few of these what's the thing I need for that Ugh. uh campfire ember okay so I need to oh I can get that from here right isn't that the thing I just decided I couldn't be bothered to that pick up campfire ember <laughs> one of these <laughs> Oh, stupid. Yeah, look, there we go. Uh, so now I can make these. Because I need four more, and now I have four jars. So that's perfect. We can crack on and make this. Just going to make sure my audio's on. I did, like, genuinely remember the buttons the right way around this time, but I just want to make sure that I'm actually saying stuff. So I'm audible. Are we talking here? Could we? Hello. Um, I'm gonna assume the sound is working. Ah, oh, why does everything have to be? So oh, it does. It does. It does. It does. It's fine. Right. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so now we can crack along here and pick up these jars of water that we need. Boom. So now I can craft this thing here. The royal incense. No, I can't. I need a smoke thing for the royal incense. That's okay. I can go and fetch one of those. That's fine. Actually, make a smoke bomb right now. Let's have a quick look. Easy peasy. I've got a lot of items and things now. I've really built up a quite yeah. a good uh, back of things. I need. Oops. Frog slime. Oh, that's easy enough. I can catch that with my net from the frogs. Frogs down here. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere, right? Frogs. 
loads of frogs around here. I could always go back to the swamp for frogs, I guess, but I'm sure they're down here somewhere. Am I going crazy? <gasps> Did I find a place straight away? That's incredible. Go me. That's not a frog. Is it just one frog? I'll catch this fairy. I'll teach it. Just one frog. It's rubbish. Anyway, I only need one frog. So I only need one smoke. Oh, I need two frogs. Now it. I guess back to the well. Well, well, well. If it isn't me going back to the well again. Let's have a look, see Lou. Let's have a little looky Lou. What's going on here? S frogs. Frogs. There's frogs down here usually, right? Do I have to uncover them? I get, do I have to dig around and find them? Okay, that's fine, I can do that. Uh, we're looking for oops, the trowel to dig around. Oops. I want to press the wrong button all the time. There's a frog. Come here, you. My frog now. Now I can make the smoke bomb, which means I can make the royal incense. Amazing. And I can now go back and give that to, go back to the apiary, give that to the bee, the queen bee. I love her attitude. It stinks. <laughs> got a real uh, entitlement issue and I'm, I'm here for it. Now, the apiary, duh, 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 I can, uh, it's around here somewhere. We can find it together, probably, or I could just get lost again. Who the hell knows? I usually spend most of my time lost and confused. It's up here, right? No, it's in the field. I'm just going to use this to shortcut to the field. The easiest way for me to, um, find a place because otherwise I just get a little bit confused. This is the fields, right? Yeah. It's up to the le top left of the fields, the apiary, and I can go back there. And then I'll go back to the lake because I think I have all the stuff to start that brewery going around now. <coughs> hey cow! I, I don't have an empty... Um, Jar for your milk. Oh, I'll take some eggs though. If anyone's got some eggs for me, thank you. Oh my god, these chickens are so loud. It's horrible. I hate being around them. Okay, run. Uh, get away. Too loud. Far too loud, that is. And then the eight puries, like, not down there. Further north, right? Here, there you go. Look, I was just a little bit too low. Not me getting lost again. It's not like me. Lol. <laughs> Constantly getting lost. Right, if I can get past these turkeys. Leave me alone. Stop picking on me. Okay. So now, I'm hoping to get a bit of good progress on the bear uh, soul storyline today. After completing the leech one yesterday, I'm like... I feel like I'm on a good roll. Avoid these bees. Uh. Right. And then... Oh, God. Oh. Right. Inventory. I need to get to the inventory. And I need to put this... Oh, I've already got it set. Have I? Yeah, I've already set. So I just need to go across to it. And then... Pow. Right? Oh, my God. Then what? Then what? Oh, I see. You sneak. Oh, my God. Oh, you sneak. Do you honestly believe that your little puff of achoo smoke can can? The queen fans herself lightly as the world begins to push and pull around her. Woo. Does anyone else feel a little hot? Anyways, as I was saying, you can't just, just... The sparkling sun bears down on the queen like a warm summer's embrace. My, look at all of these beautiful colours. <laughs> Have they always been so bright? The queen bee stretches her arms across the sea of flowers, brushing the tips of their petals gleefully. She arcs her limbs through the myriad of colours swirling about her head. Oh, she's off her um, head. It's gorgeous. Oh, and what's that delicious smell? Crackling into the waxen walls of her hive, the queen pulls out a golden honeycomb. Yes, that's what I need, the honey. 
She proceeds to messily stuff the honey into her face. Mmm, delectable. Oh, it's so good. You simply have to try some, my dear. I've never tasted anything so delicious in my life. Haha. <laughs> Yay! This is what I want. Give me that honey. Obviously, I'm going to take it. And then do a runner. Um, because now I'm going to go to the lake. I have my honey, which I'm pretty sure I need. I, th I think what's going to happen is I'm going to manage to start up the brewery. Brewery. Why is that such a hard word to say for me? Brewery. Oh, God. And then um, I think he's going to then want the honey to put in the mead and make the mead. So, if I can have that ahead of time. I'm starting to understand the map a little bit more. I did think the map was like just pretty and no no bloody use whatsoever uh, when I first started playing this because I couldn't really see anything on it but I am starting to understand the map a little bit more of what I'm seeing in the map oops zoom out oops no, that's not the right button yikes um so I want to go all the way up here to the lake right nope the swamp that's the lake okay let's see if I can walk there without getting lost I don't have any faith in myself that I can do that, but I'm sure this will be the time that I don't get lost, right? Right. Definitely. Oh, pick that up. Pick up everything. Never know what might come in useful. It's down here, right? Over here? No, that's the stupid frogman. Crying out loud. Oh, wrong button again, obviously. Oh, I've walked past it, look. <laughs> well, second time's the charm, isn't it? Definitely get it this time. Can't, can't get lost again. This way. The lake. Hurrah! She did it. And it only took getting lost once. Amazing. I amazed myself, to be honest. <laughs> right. Focus. Let's, uh, let's just have that... Oops, wrong button. That's my catchphrase, I think. Wrong button. But again, I just have these. Wow, he's really, really mm. Okay. Calm down, Mr. Bear. Mr. Grumpy, Grumpy Draws. Right, so I can do this now. What does this need? I need to open it. Really quickly there. Okay, lovely. Draw water five and five. Yes. I expect it's complicated in it. Twigs. I've got loads of twigs. Snap kindling into pieces. Carry it through the bottom of the compartment of the brewery. Should be in a fuel for the job. Open it up. Cinder box. With the heat of the cinder box, you set the stove chamber of the brewery alight and it will bring the tank to a rolling boil. Amazing. So, of course, I'll need honey for the mead. I've already got that. <laughs> but Quartermaster said he might be coming back from the apiary in the field, so I'd better try there. Mm -mm, already did it. Then I'll need a proper magical binder and a token of the bear to seal the spell. Something in this camp ought to do the trick. Right, so that's the thing I need to find. Dropping base is ready for the right ingredients. Honey, yes. As you squeeze the honey can with your bare hands, thick, rich honey slowly oozes into the brewery's tank. Too sweet for your taste, but then this potion is not for you. I actually love honey, I have it in my tea every day. At the throffing basin of the, the brewery stands ready for the right ingredients. Whilst we've got metamorphosis elixir, torn teddy bear. Okay, let's see if I can make this metamorphosis elixir. Where's that? Is it over here? Ah, I've got uh, most of the stuff I need for it, but not dryad fruit from the forest. Okay, I've got to try and find some dryad fruit. Uh, back to the forest then, I guess. I wonder if that's where those guards are. They're in the forest. No, they're here, aren't they? They're not in the forest. I might just pop down and see them quickly. I know it's um getting myself... No, I'm not. Both dryad fruit, that's what we need to find. Where could we find that? Let's Maybe, there's this angry tree man up here. Maybe he's got some dryad fruit for me. Him. Is it you? Yes. 
He wants a cinder box. Do I have another cinder box? I feel like I might have. Oh, I have look. Okay, move that to my inventory. Cinder box. Right. Oops. Yeah. Cool. And then. Oh! Uh, got him. And we've got the fruit. Amazing. And now I just want to really run away from that. So that's this. Amazing. I think that's the fastest I've ever made any progress in this game. Woo! She's done a roll, baby. Right, now go back over here. And I've got to find that bear now. Somewhere around here. At least I can stick that metamorphosis elixir in before uh, I accidentally use it on something. Where am I going to find this bear? I've got to talk to all these people, presumably. Or do I need to talk to the bear? That seems dangerous. Let's, oops, let's use my weaknesses and known. Okay. Um, into the tent. Okay, I bet it's in there. Let's... Oh, that's having a little wobble about now. Throffing base and brew stands ready for the right ingredients. Yep, stick that in. You ladle out a good portion of the writhing tar-like substance into the brewery. To be safe, you add a little bit more, just for texture. <laughs> the throffing base and the brewery stands ready for... Okay. Fine. So now we're going to go in here through the open tent flap. You catch a glimpse of pillaged trinkets and treasures scattered about the spacious interior. You surmise that one of these precious objects might contain enough magical e essence to use as a token of the bear. Perfect. I thought so. I need a moment to linger on in bed before a hand pulls the flap door flap shut. The sergeant gives you a disapproving glare as he ushers you away. Hey, you can't go in there. This is bear's personal tent. You know the kind of hell that will break loose if you find someone's been snooping. Don't worry, I'll be careful. It seems like your men are keeping them distracted anyway. You glance over at the bear as he tosses aside a soldier like a sack of potatoes. No way, no how. If you think this is bad, just wait until he finds out there's no more honeymead. Ooh. Well, I'm about to make some more. If you're so afraid of that stomping brute, why don't you just slip away into the night? Surely it will prolong your life a little. And abandon all my friends. We soldiers got to stick together. It's our only chance. If only there was some way to stand up against the bear. A thought seems to cross the sergeant's mind as he notices the potions and baubles hanging about your belt. Mm. Say, you're good with magical doodads and what's it's right? What if you made me some sort of protective charm or talisman? Yeah, I can do that. Then I can maybe have a chance against that monster without getting my head stoved in. What do you want? If I make your protective talisman, will you let me into this tent? I suppose it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have much to worry about if you did. Okay. So what do you want for that? Where's this? Where is this? Here. Oh, lots of things I haven't got. Okay. I can make this. What? Well, oops. What else did it want? Got that now. You want wicked gemstone. I can craft that. Show me. What's that one? Oh god, this is it's like dog hair. Okay, now it's, oops, I know let's get the dog hair, that's easy. And what's the other thing? So wicked gemstone, magic paste, which I can also make. Can I make magic paste now? Mm. Yes, absolutely I can. And for this the only thing I'm missing is dog hair. Okay, so I know how to get dog hair. I make the sporophic morsel. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> right. Fine. Okay, so I need to make a jar and fill it with water to make the sporophic potion to make the sporophic morsel. Oh God, this game, oh, I've got gone the wrong way. It is just like crafting within crafting within crafting. It's really quite clever. I am enjoying it. The, uh, the layers, it's very like multi-layered crafting. It's really satisfying as well when you get a new recipe and you've got everything that you need to make it straight away, or pretty much. Uh, there is a lot of running around. I'd like a quick travel button. That would be nice. I wonder if there is one, I just haven't found it yet. So I'm <laughs> not very good. <laughs> I think it's just because I wasn't paying attention right at the very first like episode the very first time I streamed this and um because of that I missed like that witch's eye I was flying around for ages without that witch's eye 
That was a real struggle. Hi Memphis. My cat's just walked in. You cold baby. You good baby. Oh, right. Uh, da, da. Oh no, not that. Give me this back. No, yeah, I know. Give it back. Um, right. No. Uh, ugh. Right. So now I can make this. So I can make this. So I can go and see that dog. Cut his hair. And then I can make the talisman to protect the soldier. So I can go in and get the bear. So I can make the mead. Oh, God. I think this is definitely a game where I very easily get distracted from the specific... <laughs> task at hand and end up just like sauntering around doing lots of other stuff eat that and now he's not hurt he's just asleep I promise I checked he comes back alive again in a bit uh, I can make this oh no I, I use dog hair to make this and then oh the disappointment with that thunk Oh yeah, the magic paste. But I can make the magic paste. No. It needs milk. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Well, oh. <laughs> right. So now, what I need to do is dig up some fire. But because I need to get the milk, I'm going to mosey on down this way towards the field anyway. The field's down this way, right? And I'm just going to dig at any fire that I might come along, come across along the way. That's my plan. That's my plan. And then I'll get the milk. And then I'll make the... Yeah, it's, it's all... It's all good. You're definitely going to just grab that lazy grass. This is... Here, look, see? Here's... Oops, right button got enough for that and the cow is somewhere what was that cow it's over here somewhere isn't it oh, famous last words <laughs> I think I know where somewhere is is it though oh wait let's make the jar yep and then I'm ready for the cow when I find him. Hoarding all this lazy grass. Where's Mr. Cow? It's over here, right? Oh, here's the chickens. Oh, horrible loud chickens. And the cows. Aha. Thank you. So, what's the thing I'm trying to make? The paste. This. Excellent. And then I can make this. Ah, amazing. And actually, I'm closer to where I need to be. Where's the... It's up here, right? No, that's an atrium. Um, no. I need to go back through the... Uh, I need to go back through the forest to get to the lakeside thingy with Bob Bob's. Because it's up there. Mm -hmm. I am doing it. <laughs> I am getting there. I definitely managed to tick this last bit off. Get the bear, put it into the thing. That I should definitely be able to do that. This go. Now. You get to the well and you turn left. And then you keep walking this way you follow this little path past the bird lady but stay on the same path and you go it's not right is it is it this one hey i found it i uh <laughs> i can't believe i found something first time i didn't even get lost at all not even once okay so now I can give this talisman to this guy. Yep. Here you go. 
Here, this ought to shield you from harm for a time. He grins nervously as he puts the charm around his neck. Then he clobbers himself in the face with his own fist. Okay. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. Ha ha. Though that's nowhere near the kind of punishment the bear can dish out. I better find some more stuff to test it out with. Then I'll give that bear a piece of my mind. Ooh, he stumbles off into the camp to find some other objects to try against his newfound protection, leaving the bear's tent unattended. And now is my time to pop in here and find that little bear. I think I've already seen it. So, uh, right, it's probably in here, is it? Torn teddy bear. Thank you. Oh, I'll have the, I'll have these other bits as well. Why not? Anything else? It's really a trifle. What we'll do. Anything else to take in here? Um, what is this like bear-shaped drug on the floor with a white line around it, like a murder scene? Interesting. Interesting design choice for a bear. You think it'd be like a human-shaped, um, <laughs> a human skin rug? Um, went a bit dark there. Sorry. Okay. Now, oh, here's look. Mm, okay. So now, dropping basin, blah blah blah. Teddy bear. You pause before dropping in the tattered plaything to the brewery. A glint in its button eye reminds you of something, but the thought soon evaporates from your mind. You overturn your palm and the stuffed bear splashes down into the concoction. It floats sadly for a moment before coming, becoming waterlogged and disappearing under the surface. With the addition of the final ingredient, the brewing, <laughs> brewing equipment is sealed and set to work. Steam hisses from rivets and its swollen metal belly clanks and rattles. Before long, the waggling fingers of the gauges and dials settle down, indicating that the brew is complete. You give a quick sniff test and recoil at the sickeningly sweet vapours. Sounds like mead to me. You push an empty wooden keg under the contraption spigot and crank the release valve. The brewery strains under the pressure and fills the keg with chunky oozing fluid. Mmm, yum. <laughs> May not be the finest honey mead around, I will say, but hopefully that great raging galoot won't stop to notice the difference. Excellent. So now we can go over to this terrifying bear. Um, hold up. Do I need to put this in my uh, inventory? Yeah. I need to just throw it at him. Swap it for this empty thing. There we go. Ah, Captain, I brought you more honey mead. The bear swipes up the tankard with his massive paw and tosses the contents into his slathering maw, slathering maw without hesitation. Stop it, Memphis. Sorry, my, <laughs> my cat's trying to eat the wire from my headphones. Uh, he licks his chops, savouring the peculiar flavour. With a sudden jerk, he bears down on you with suspicion. Ooh. Say, this tastes kind of funny. What did you do, soldier? It's a uh, uh, new recipe. I thought you might enjoy something with a little more sting in it. Rah, you know I hate new things. I'll teach you to mess with my favourite brew, you hayseed. Hayseed. The bear is upon you with frightening speed. He rages at his, the huge mace in his paw skyward and you brace for the impact. With equal, equal measure of speed, the sergeant leaps between the crushing mace and your head. Oh, he's got this protective charm. You peer through your fingers as a great clang resounds through the camp. The bear roars furiously as his blow is magically repelled from the sergeant's talisman. Hey, hey! The mace goes spinning out of his paw and falls into the lake with a great splash. He gapes, dumbfounded as the sergeant stands before him completely unharmed. Ha! That will teach you to pick on us, you big oaf. This has been a long time coming. The sergeant wags his fingers at the bear, finger at the bear. Who do you think you are, huh? <laughs> you think you're so big and tough with your fancy feather hat and your big honking club? Well, look at you now. The camp soldiers gather to witness in stunned awe. Miraculously, the bear seems to shrink in the face of the sergeant's onslaught. Excellent. But it's up to me. You'd be dishonorably discharged for disorderly conduct. You're a disgrace to the uniform. You're no captain of mine. With fear welling up in his eyes, the bear shrinks and shrinks until he's reduced to the size of a small cat. Ah. And another thing. Uh, what's happening? I think I now have his soul. The place of the bear's drunken grimace is the stitched smile of a doll's grin. Two button eyes stare back at the disapproving faces surrounding the little plush toy. The sergeant takes a step back to reveal the small shape of stuffed teddy bear where the brute once stood. Your transformative potion has finally done its work. Gee, I guess I overdid it. <laughs> he scratches his head in befuddlement. 
but seems genuinely relieved. Hey Sarge, I guess that means you're in charge now, right? Oh yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> well, what are you all standing around for? The camp's a mess. Let's get to work. Amazing. I can pick that up. Yay, got my trophy, the bear. I don't know if you can see that or not, because when I watched it back, it was all like greyed out. But uh, woohoo, trophy for the bear. Probably this glassy surface, you can barely make out a tiny crimson flame, the trapped soul of the bear. This ought to be what the old great is after. I hope he's happy. Oh, that was so perfect as well. The bear quest complete. Woo! Woohoo, that's two quests in two episodes. That's amazing. Uh, but, and now I'm out of time. And I'm really, really nowhere near completing anything else. Just pick all those up. One thing I really like about this game is, and I'm going to say this and hope it doesn't change, is that um, the pockets seem endless. Like a lot of the time I hate when you get your pockets full on games. Is that, what's that? Yeah, catch you. When your pockets get full and then you have to like faff about emptying and dropping things off and all of that really, really annoys me. It's one of my main pet peeves in games, definitely. If you're having to faff about going back to your house and back and back and back, it, it does my head in. Okay, brilliant. So, that's the end of this stream and that's the end of the bear section. So that was really perfect timing. I do think that the two bits that I've got left to do, the ox and the snake, will take a bit longer because I've not done anything really with those. Looks like I've done a little bit with the ox. Oh, that's those bandits. He's, I thought that was the bear for some reason. So I'll probably pick up the ox next time, um, which will be, actually I think it's gonna be maybe tomorrow because my uh, because I, I do these streams on a, a day when I work from home and because of Christmas and holidays and stuff my days are swapping around a little bit these next two weeks so if not tomorrow it will be this time next week Wednesday because I've got Wednesday and Thursday uh, Wednesday and Thursday I'm working from home next week so that will be the two days that I stream next week I'll possibly get a chance tomorrow but I'm not sure I couldn't say for certain about tomorrow, but definitely this time next week, Wednesday, will be my next stream. Um, and you never know, I might pop up with something um, before then. I did come on here and play Disney Dreamlight Valley last night, and that was really fun. So, yeah, fab. Um, let's pick these up as usual. And um, I'm going to end the stream here, and I will catch you guys next time, hopefully. Uh, thank you for dropping in and watching the stream. Thank you if you watch this on YouTube when I post it a bit later on. Um, if you've enjoyed watching this, then you know please feel free to subscribe or follow me on Twitch and catch the next episode. That would be amazing. And uh, I will catch you then. Thank you so much.